Hello everyone, welcome back to the fifth video in our Streamlight course series on Coder Apps. In the previous video, we created our first simple Streamlight web application. So now in this video, we will see how to create interactive charts and graph using Streamlight. And by the end of this video, you will be able to create interactive charts and graphs using Streamlight. So let's start. We start by importing the necessary libraries. First of all, I import Streamlight library. Then I import Panda library. Streamlight for creating our web application and Pandas for handling our data. And next is I import map.lib. Then I import Sabon library. These two library map.lib and Sabon will help us to create some charts. So now here we have a wizard data set. Let me show you. The data set contains temperature, humidity, wind speed and date columns. So now let's load the data set in the pandas data frame. Here we create a pandas data frame by reading a CSV file. Here I write weather data dot CSV. Now we will add interactive with get using streamlight. So further I add drop down with gates. For selecting column to visualize. Here we are using st.select box function to create a drop down. The first argument I set select to column. This is the label see you on the drop down. And the second argument data dot columns. This represents the column names from our data frame. Now let's create the line chart based on the selected column. For that we use st.linechart function. Here we pass the data from the selected column. Now let's save the script. Data visualization. Save. Now let's open command from to run the script. To run the script, you have to set first set script location. Then run this command thing like run. and the your Python script name. After running the command, a new web page will be open in your web browser.
you can select a column from the drop down menu and streamlight generate interactive line chart Now I will show you how to plot other charts. So for that we have another data set which name is Titanic. Let me show you open. As you can see there are lots of columns. Sarah PC class name six H Now let's change the name of the data set. Now let's create some chart. Now this time we will use an if statement to create the chart. We are doing this because some column contain categorical values and some column contain continuous values. So we cannot plot all the columns in the same chart. So first I will use the six column to create count plot in the web browser. This plot will display the distribution of male and female passenger in the dataset. For that I use C1 to create count plot. Here I write selected columns now st.pyplot function is displaying the chart in your streamlight web application I'm creating a figure and x object for plotting using matplot Let's save the script using Ctrl plus S button and let's see in the web browser. Refresh. Select the column from drop down menu. Here you can see the count plot of six column. If you select another column from the drop down menu, you won't see any chart here. This is because the code include conditional statement that determine which chart to display based on your selection. Also if you want to display the count of the survival column just add condition here using our operator. Write like this and write here column name. Survive. Save it and let's see the output now if it will be displayed. Select survival column and see the font plot is visible for the survival column. Now let's move back to the script and let's plot line chart. This time we use the pair column. We have a state dot line chart function save the script control plus s yes. here you can see the line chart now I will show you by plotting the pie chart.
और वन इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू पी क्लास डेटा कॉलम नेम पी क्लास एक्सट्रैक्ट द पी क्लास कॉलम फ्रॉम द डेटा सेट डॉट वैल्यू काउंट्स फंक्शन कैलकुलेट द काउंट्स ऑफ यूनिक वैल्यूज इन द पी क्लास कॉलम देन डॉट प्लॉट डॉट पाए This will generate a pie chart using the counts, and the auto PCT parameter show the percentage on level on the chart. As you don't side plot, Python. Now save the script. Let's see the output in the web browser. With a flash, P class. So this is a pie chart of P class column, and these are the label we used auto PCT for this. Now let's plot histogram for each column. For that. We have selected column equals to equals to H. All the things are same. Just will change the column name, and then. Plot histogram. We use his plot. Ast dot by float function. Save the script and let's see the output in the web browser. The fish. H. Here you can see the histogram chart is plotted for H. So that's it for today. With just a few lines of code here, we create an interactive data visualization application with Streamlight. This is a powerful way to explore your data and communicate your insights. In the next video, we will explore more advanced features of Streamlight. So, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorial like this.